Hello YouTube, it's Magma Rhino here, and I'm bringing you an in-depth analysis of three of the main built-in applications on the ASUS EBAT Transformer. The first one I'm doing is the browser. Uh, there's a bunch of people asking questions about it, so I'm just going to kind of go through and answer as many as I can. Uh, first of all, in the settings, if you go under, I believe it's advanced, and not that user agent string. Here's where you can change what your tablet is identified as to the browser. So you can see there's a tablet, desktop, and mobile phone. So I just select desktop because it's pretty much like a laptop having this. Uh, it can do everything that a normal computer can. So here I'm going to go to the full Facebook page. As you can see, I've set up a, a Facebook for my YouTube account. Uh, I don't have any friends or anything at all, so I can't show you some of that stuff. But I can show you that it loads the pages extremely quickly. And then you can edit whatever you want to. So if I want to edit this, you can just go in and type whatever. And then save it, and that works fine. Uh, you can even chat with the built-in. You just type the chat thing and... You can, um, it keeps the little pop-ups for each person down there, and you can actually control it by using that. Um, I don't have a Twitter, so I can't show you that, but I can show you the, uh, homepage. So, um, also, as you're typing, it comes up with suggestions for both searches and, uh, the actual web page. So, I started to type in Twitter, and the full web page link came up, even though I've never used it before. So that's a pretty cool feature. There it goes. Alright, so here you can sign in and uh, I'm assuming that it works just like it would in a normal browser on a normal computer. Um, other than that, you can copy and paste stuff. Somebody was asking about that. But you can't copy everything that you would be able to on a normal computer. Uh, if you want to copy, you just hold down your finger on the text. comes up with this. You can drag the little bars to whatever you want to copy. Then up top you got your controls. You can actually find what you've highlighted on the page. Do a web search, copy, uh, and then after you copy something, you tap somewhere else, tap again, and it comes up with the paste option. It should anyway. Sorry, hold your finger down. Then you can paste it. Um, Alright, so that's everything for the browser. Overall, the experience, it's really nice. Uh, loading pages is really quick, and it's easy to navigate. Scrolling and zooming are both... <coughs> sorry. They're both extremely smooth. So it's really nice to use. <coughs> Alright, now I'm going to go on to the music app. Uh, the real only problem I have with this is navigating. You have to come up here and change the section. It's not that bad, it's just not like you have all the buttons laid out. You have to just pick a folder and then you can scroll through. <clears throat> I haven't gone in this app a while, so I'm sure it'll also catch again. But it loads uh, relatively quick. And then playing. It's um, actually pretty loud, even though the speakers aren't great. So I'll do full volume. And then this will keep playing in the background if you go back to the home page. You actually get a little widget down here that pops up where you can pause, skip, whatever, and then you can close it out. As well as you can use uh, this up here. Um, Alright, so now I'm going to go to the gallery, and I found this a little strange, but this is actually how you view movies. So you'll load your movies on, and you'll find them in the movie section of your gallery. Um, here, it doesn't actually show the name unless you tap this little eye, and then you can go through and it'll give you the title of each one. So it's like, it's cleaner looking, but it's not as functional, which is kind of the opposite of what Android's usually like. So it's a little confusing why they did that. But uh, playback is pretty good. I can do another 
example. I believe this is 720p. Um, and also it gives this little pop-up whenever you've watched the movie before. So the quality is extremely nice. Uh, sound could be a little louder. It's nothing to worry about the volume because usually you use headphones. But uh, it would be nicer if they could just turn up like the volume on the movies because I know the, the music can get a lot louder. So the speakers can handle it, they just... Uh, the movies don't make the sound that loud. Uh, I believe that's all for today. So um, if you like my videos or if you want to suggest a future thing for me to do a video on, just uh, post a comment over uh, in the comment section below. Uh, be sure to like and favorite this video. Um, so far I have 50 subscribers, which is amazing, and I'm trying to get to 100 by September 1st. So I want to get 50 more in the next 20 days, so please help me out. If you like my stuff, subscribe. And I'll be doing Xbox uh, within a few weeks once I get a, a part to record the um, gameplay. So I'll be doing some random stuff there if you want to see that, uh, make sure you subscribe too. Uh, give this video a thumbs up and thanks for watching.